Hello YouTube, this is Joseph from Stagman PKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you recall, in the last tutorial, I show you how to use CMake in order to execute individual files or sample files that we got from the um, Vulkan SDK that we downloaded from LearnG. In this tutorial, we're going to continue more or less in the same vein, uh, and we're going to be using this tutorial written by Alexander Overvord. Uh, sorry, Alexander, if I uh, mispronounce your last name, but he's done a great job uh, with uh, Vulcan and and, uh, and and creating tutorials. And uh, this page, this website here, is is very good. Um, if you if you are learning Vulkan, this is a, a, a mostly website. And in it, as you can see, it has an introduction, overview, developing environment. But basically, excuse me, in the base code here, this is mostly GLFW code. So I didn't I didn't uh, use this one because uh, I, I wanted to jump right into the the uh, Vulcan code. In this one, in the creating an instance, he shows you how to create an instance, and he blends a lot of GLFW with uh, Vulcan code because he wants to show you a window. You cannot create that window very easily uh, with Vulcan uh, at this point, so he uses GLFW in order to show you the window. I'm going to show you what, what I mean by that. For example, if I look at the code here, and that's D1 main C++. He's, he, as you can see, he's blending GLFW with just a lot of, with real Vulkan code from the API. Uh, because, and let's run it here. So, because he wants to show you something. So, here I ran it, and now I'm going to um, run it. triangle and there's the page uh, the window that he creates is I think is a 600 by 800 window and we I show you how to do this in other tutorials and OpenGL tutorials where uh, because OpenGL uses GLFW is one of the the libraries that it that it can use and I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through it so the basically what what this is what's going on in this one is uh he's creating a window here 800 by 600 is uh it's an app class uh triangle application class these are all the methods here for that class here's creating the window from glfw window this is falcon code uh, here we creating initializing the window. The window is a resizable, so on. We, if you watch some of my tutorials, I, uh, and let's change this here so you know that we did something. So let's go, let's say, hello, Vulcan from our YouTube channel. It's just something, so you know that it's been changed. Creating the instance, the poll events, and cleanup. And this is the nitty gritty here of Vulcan code. And uh, I'm not going to change that because I, I'm going to strip it so you can separate them so you can see the difference. What is GLFW code? What is just uh, uh, Falcon code? Okay, so let's just run this one so you see that we changed it. And let's do make, and I got an error. What error did I get? Oh, I added that ls, so then oh, main. I don't, I use the, uh, I uncomment this right here, but I didn't let uh, 
them know that I'm using a namespace. So it's using namespace std. Let's try again, make, and still doesn't like it was going, oh, another mistake. Uh, and another mistake here, no semicolon, make, and now it's good. Okay, so now let's run it. And there it is. Hello, Vulcan from our YouTube channel. Okay. That's using GLFW. But now let's trip all of the GLFW code away from this, uh, from this um, code and just stick to Vulcan code and run Vulcan code so you can see that it actually works. So let's do it. So we go nano main. I'm going to strip everything that has nothing to do with Vulkan. So that's that's fine. The init window can go. The main loop can go. Clean up, no. This can go. Uh, all of this initialization of a window can go. We don't need it. We don't need the window. It's nice to have the window so you know what's going on, but I just want to stick to a to just basic uh, Vulcan code and let's just leave it, leave it, and then that's Vulcan. Uh, this here. Let's get rid of all of that stuff. And just leave the Vulcan code that is checking for the error. And this is can stay. Okay. So now you're not going to see no window. You're not going to see nothing fancy. But as long as it runs without giving me any errors, it's a success. Because that means that the Vulcan code, we were able to run Vulcan code uh, all the way through. Okay, so let's do make, and it compiled, so that's a very good sign, and now let's run it. There's nothing going to be come out, no window, nothing, but as long as it doesn't give me errors, it's a success. And there you go, hello from Vulcanlander, and that's the lineup that I added. And, uh, and it, so it is a success because it it, uh, it ran without using any other uh, additions of any other libraries, just basic uh, the Vulkan API. Okay, and this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time with another great tutorial. Take care. Have a great day.